In this session, we will discuss one of CostPoint's most important control features, the Project Account Group, or PAG. A PAG is a set of accounts. Each project is assigned a PAG, which limits the accounts that can be charged to the project. To show you where Project Account Groups are used, let's navigate to Projects, Project Setup, Project Master, and click on Manage Project User Flow. If I query a project and go to the Account Group field, we will see that it is assigned the R&B PAG. This means that only general ledger accounts assigned to this PAG can be charged against this project node. Selecting the Allow Edit checkbox adjacent to the account group will allow us to change the account group for the lower level nodes of the project. So I could have a node for revenue and billing and another node for direct expenses. Applying a different PAG for each node will limit the accounts that can be used within each project node. Now let's review the Manage Project Account Group screen. Navigate to Projects, Project Setup, Project Setup Controls, then click on Manage Project Account Groups. I am going to query the R&B PAG we just saw assigned to the project earlier. There are three sections in this screen. The top section is for code and description of the PAG. The middle section lists all available project accounts that can be added to the PAG, as well as function codes. Available accounts are those that are set as detail level, active, and project required in the Manage Accounts screen. Function codes are used for validation, posting, and calculation in the project setup and billing applications. For example, the revenue function code identifies the account that is used to post revenue and can only be used once per PAG. Income statement function codes, like revenue, are also assigned an account function number that is used by several cost point processes to ensure proper calculations report groups, etc. Use help to see a complete list and explanation of all function codes. The bottom section identifies the accounts and functional codes that have been added to the PAG, the project account abbreviation, revenue account mapping, and active checkbox fields are optional. If an account abbreviation code is provided here and is then entered in a transaction screen, it will default the associated account in the transaction screen. We'll discuss this in further detail in the PAG transaction entry training video. The revenue account mapping field is used to assign differentiated revenue accounts to project accounts with function codes of labor, non-labor, or units. The topic of differentiated revenue will be covered further in the PAG setup training video. The active checkbox is used to activate or deactivate account usage for all projects that use the assigned PAG. This concludes our session on project account groups in CostPoint.